Hello again, ladies and gentlefolk. It's time to discuss a new concept in LCR circuits, although in retrospect, you should realize that it's not a new idea at all. What I'd like to go over is this thing called impedance. We know that an LCR circuit contains a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor. In previous modules, we looked at each of these components in detail, and perhaps you noticed what they all have in common. All the components in the circuit have some slowing effect on the electricity that flows through them. They all show some kind of opposition to the current provided by the power source. You see, a resistor is designed specifically to limit the current in a circuit. It resists, it's in the name. A capacitor collects charge from the circuit in a way that makes it very hard for current to flow through it. Remember, a capacitor consists of two conducting surfaces that are separated either by air or by a dielectric layer. And an inductor, according to the laws of Lenz and Faraday, opposes any change in the amount of current through it. This you should be familiar with by now. So if you take each of these components and plug them into a source of alternating current, as I've done here, they all oppose or impede the current. Current flows into the resistor. The resistor says, not so fast there, and it acts a bit like a toll booth. Then current tries to go through the capacitor, but the capacitor says, no, nah, you ain't going nowhere, and it starts to charge up. Because we use AC, the size of the current is changing all the time. That creates a changing magnetic flux in the inductor, which induces a counter current. All these opposing effects contribute to the impedance of the circuit. Impedance is found by taking the resistance of the resistor and adding it to the reactances of the capacitor and the inductor. But it's not as simple as adding three numbers and pushing the equals button. This is the phasor diagram showing those three quantities. Notice they all point in different directions and do not line up. In fact, each reactance phasor is at right angles to the resistance phasor. Therefore, we have to use vector addition to add them all up. If you have never seen vectors before in your life, I suggest you pause this video right now and go over to the mechanics section. Phases are defined as vectors which rotate, so their directions are important. Luckily, finding the impedance becomes very straightforward once you understand how to add these phases up. First, we can subtract one reactance from the other. This is because the inductor and capacitor have reactances with the opposite phase. They are exactly 180 degrees apart. So take the smaller one away from the bigger one to get a new vector, the net reactance, if you will. Now, the reactance is at right angles to the resistance phasor, so we have two sides of a right-angled triangle. That impedance we're looking for is the third side of the triangle. What do we do with right-angled triangles, folks? We use the theorem of Pythagoras. Now you take your calculator out and use this fantastic formula. I'll run through a quick demonstration so you can see the whole process. Suppose our capacitor has a reactance of 10 ohms, and our inductor a reactance of 6 ohms. The resistor is a pretty skinny one, rated at 5 ohms. Here's what it looks like when we plot that data on the phasor diagram. The capacitor has a larger reactance than the inductor, so we take the smaller one away from the larger and get this. Now we have two sides of a right-angled triangle, and the impedance is the hypotenuse. I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem, and I'd like you to watch the working steps closely. And the answer comes out as 6.4. Impedance is still measured in ohms, so that is 6.4 ohms for this particular LCR circuit. Good show! To recap, impedance is the total opposition to the flow of electric current in an LCR circuit. It is found by taking the vector sum of all the resistances and reactances that can be measured. In our equations, we give it the symbol Z and measure it in ohms. That is all you need to know for the next series of exercises. I thank you for your attention.